I get to a second chance at this one because I mispronounced her name before. Aomawa. Aomawa Shields is an astronomer and she's going to deliver a presentation entitled Bipolar Ice. <laughs> You go, girl. <laughs> 14 years ago, I left a career in astronomy because I thought there was only one way to be a scientist. There was only one kind of person who could be a scientist, and it wasn't me. Today, I know there is not only one way to be a scientist. Just like as a researcher, I've discovered that ice doesn't behave in only one way. Say there's a planet orbiting the sun with some bright white ice at the poles. Most of the sun's light is light that we can see with our eyes, visible light. Ice on that planet is going to act like this white shirt and reflect most of the visible light that hits it. If that ice could talk, it would say something like this to the sun's visible light. OK, thanks, but like, no thanks. <laughs> Like, light is energy, and energy can heat. So, like, I'm going to take a little of your light and give you the rest back. Like, I don't want to melt. I want to grow. And the more light that ice reflects back to space, the less light it absorbs. The colder the planet gets, the more ice forms. My research has shown that without any greenhouse gases in the atmosphere to keep the planet warm, planets around stars that are even brighter than the sun could become ice-covered snowballs. But see, here's the thing. Ice doesn't treat all types of light equally. It doesn't behave in only one way. Let's take stars that are cooler than the sun. Most of their light is infrared light, not visible light. Ice on a planet orbiting a much cooler star is going to act like these black pants towards infrared light. If that ice could talk, it would say something a little different to its star's infrared light. It would say, come on in, baby. I want you. I need you. I have to have you. Don't worry, baby. I'm not going to reject you and reflect you. I'm going to absorb you. That's how much I love you. And the more light that ice absorbs, the warmer that planet gets. Remember, light is energy, and energy heats. The warmer that planet gets, What's going to happen to that ice? It's going to melt. So what this means is that we may not see much in the way of ice on planets orbiting cooler stars. And smaller, cooler stars are most of the stars in the universe. So our planet, with its bright polar caps, could be pretty rare. But as I've found in my life, there are many ways to be a scientist. So there are likely many ways to make a life-sustaining planet, ice or no ice. In science and in life, there are always many possible ways. Thank you.